What's up guys, Elliot here with my reaction to the 2022 AlphaTauri 8003. AlphaTauri have only released renders, however there are distinct design elements on the car, albeit with some sensitive areas hidden. We have some key differences when compared to both the Aston Martin and the McLaren, the two cars released so far that seem the most genuine. But before we analyse the technical aspects of the 8003, let's take a look at the new livery. AlphaTauri formerly Toro Rosso, have had some of the best liveries on the grid in recent years. In 2017, they introduced the STR12, which had colours inspired by the physical Red Bull can and was a real upgrade from previous years. A livery, I would say, that was probably even better than the parent team. Then we've also seen two Alpha Tauri liveries, with this one being last year's AT02, in my opinion, the better out of the two. So we move on to the AT03. I really like the simplicity of the two colours. The Flexbox logo is ruining that slightly for me, unfortunately, with the orange on the wing here. On this new livery, they've inverted the colour of the logo on the engine cover. There's a good balance of navy to white. They've got some really nice shapes, some flow. Moving over to the side view, the AlphaTauri name sits great on the side pod. They've definitely considered the shape of the bodywork when designing the livery, which I think it's important. Cough, cough, McLaren. Overall decent livery, but not quite at the level of last year's in my opinion. Also, can I just say, can more teams release renders like this? It looks awesome. Why don't more teams do this? What do you think of the new AlphaTauri livery? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying the video so far, then please consider dropping a like and subscribe for more F1 car launch reactions. Let's take a look at the key technical talking points. First off, the nose is longer than we've seen on the Aston Martin and McLaren, with all four elements connecting to the nose, and the nose actually protruding below the lowest element. The benefit of having the nose higher than this is it keeps the airflow as clean as possible for the floor, which is the main downforce producer on these 2022 cars. Unless AlphaTauri are doing something clever with the lowest point on the nose, I would say this is not the best solution we've seen so far. I do expect to see the front wing and probably the nose change in design when we come to testing, as these appear basic at the moment. Moving to the the suspension they've gone for the conventional push rod at the front and pull rod at the rear it does give them a benefit in packaging at the front when compared to the pull rod but it's all pretty standard at the floor entrance we can see three strakes they're allowed a maximum of four strakes so i wonder if they have a fourth sitting further back where we can't see they appear to have the outermost strake extended as far forward as the rules allow with the aim of keeping the dirty tire wake away from the floor moving on to the side pods which is the most striking part of the car they've gone for a box shaped inlet very similar to the aston martin with an aggressive undercut to allow airflow underneath. The side pods then sweep down into the coke bottle area, creating downwash with the aim of maximising the airflow and the effectiveness of the diffuser. The radiators are likely sat more horizontal than the McLaren, although not as stream as the Aston solution, so the AlphaTauri is somewhere in the middle. Unlike the Aston Martin, AlphaTauri have, on the renders at least, opted against adding cooling slots on the top of the side pods, meaning they are exiting the spent air over the beam wing at the rear. It's lacking detail here at the floor edge and development in the rear wing, so I fully expect this to change by testing and the first race. So, do you think this will be the car that will see AlphaTauri move up the grid to the front of the midfield or even the front runners? Does this give us any indication of what to expect with a real Red Bull car? They, of course, share engine, gearbox, and rear suspension with AlphaTauri. AlphaTauri will be the second team to run their car on a film day on the 15th of Feb. A real show of intent from AlphaTauri and some good miles on the now unbranded Honda engine. If you haven't already, please go check out my reaction to the McLaren MCL36. Click on the link on the top right to check it out. Next car launch is Williams, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.